Well, should social media sites come with warning labels like the ones you see on cigarette packs? Well, the chief medical doctor for the United States making news today saying he thinks that's a good idea to try and keep children safe. News for Tucson's Eric Fink joins us live from our newsroom with more on this idea. Eric. Well, Sean, Monica, U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy believes there is a mental health crisis among young people in this country. He calls that crisis an emergency, and that's why he wants these warning label, labels rather on social media platforms. Now, I spoke with a local parent here who pushes back on that. He says a warning label can't take the place of a parent. Yes, U.S. Well, Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy says research and evidence shows some adolescents spend on average five hours a day on social media. Dr. Murthy says when kids spend three hours or more on social media each day, that comes with higher risks of depression and anxiety. Murthy says warning labels for cigarettes and tobacco helped change both awareness and behavior. He believes the same can be done in the social media arena. The Surgeon General recommends parents start putting limits on their kids' screen time now. I would delay the use of, of social media for kids until at least after middle school. I would also, if your children are on social media, I would create tech-free zones in their day to protect sleep, in-person interaction, and physical activity. That could look like not allowing technology at the dinner table when you're eating together. It could look like taking technology away one hour before bedtime. If they're not doing it now, I don't think a, a warning label is gonna, gonna help uh, uh, parents navigate that at all. Putting a warning label on anything doesn't prevent uh, kids from getting their hands on things, is my view. Now, Surgeon General Murthy is calling on Congress to step up here and put safety standards and guardrails on social media apps. We're going to have more on this story coming up in our next hour at 5. We're live here in the newsroom. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.